So good evening fellow ticket owners and happy holidays. Yay, the holidays are here. <laughs> and we are going to get started with our holiday videos uh, for this season. So as you can see here in front of us, we have a table full of snacks that we have picked up in our uh, time at the grocery stores. We are wanting to try something different. We are going to go and try all these holiday snacks. Um, they are from different places. We have some stuff from Whole Foods. We have things from Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. You can get things at Walmart and Target and whatnot. So, and as we do this, we are going to also talk about our plans for the 2022 holiday season, what we're going to be doing and whatnot. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. Let's try all the snacks. So, which one do you want to start with? Well, we're going to try with the liquids because okay. we got to, we got to put them away. We got two of them down here. Yes. This is the gingerbread oat latte from uh, Trader Joe's. And it's a cold brew coffee, ginger juice, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and is non-dairy. Um, I've heard some very mixed reviews of this one. We love, well, I love gingerbread. I'm not a big gingerbread person, but uh, I do things from time to time. I think I might also have a slight ginger allergy. Wow, it's very gingery. Oh no. Yeah, it definitely has a ginger smell, but you can definitely smell the coffee and oat as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually better than I expected. People are hating on this thing. <laughs> of course, as always, we like the things that people aren't really into. This is actually really good. So it definitely has a gingerbread flavor. It actually has more of like a ginger snap, so like a, yeah. like these here, that'd be the Tate's gingerbread cookies. Um, but you can definitely taste the oat from the oat creamer. And a little bit of the coffee, but the coffee's kind of gone. It's a yeah. little bitter, but definitely not as sweet as I expected no. as the mixed drinks are. No, it doesn't even have much. Uh, it does have a lot of sugar. No, but it's, it, <laughs> it does not reflect it on. No, it's not reflected on the, the sugar. Are we going to give ratings of these? Uh, sure. Uh, so, I guess out of 10. I, I give it a six. <laughs> So just above average. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 drinkable. I'd say a six or a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. All right. So what is the next one? This is Harmless Harvest. It's uh, one of my favorite uh, coconut drinks that they serve at all health food stores. Uh, they Where did we pick that up? In? The Whole Foods. Okay. I didn't know we got it from there. Sprouts. Yeah, and I've only had their watermelon coconut and their regular coconut. So for the season, they have chocolate pep peppermint with uh it's a coconut smoothie so i'm excited to try this kind and of as we go along you'll notice i'm not a big fan of the gingerbread or the peppermint Yo, flavoring he, he, so. He, so he doesn't like christmas <laughs> that's not true <laughs> what yeah, he's more into the sugar cookies or the uh i eat peppermint as a peppermint as a peppermint or a candy cane yeah. Whoa, this is heavy on the chocolate peppermint uh, scent and it smells so good you could hardly smell the coconut at all Yes, definitely has that like Andy's mints type of smell. Yeah, interesting. It's really thick. Has less sugar than the, the other one. It's thick. It's thick. You and can tell it has the, the coconut, coconut water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I love all these flavors. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely, as I as I expected, it's not something that I would go out of my way for. Um, so I guess I would give it a a four or a five. I give it a six. It's really good. But if you're definitely into the coconut water drinks or peppermint type of drink, then definitely recommend that one. But as I said, I'm not really into those things, so it's not for me. Okay, so, so as we're transitioning, before we start our next item, we'll go ahead and talk about the first set of things we're going to do for the holiday season. Yep. Uh, every year we visit my family back in Texas. Yep, so if you've been following us along for a while, you know we do Texas videos, so those will be coming. Yep, those are coming. We're going to hit up San Antonio to hit up a new credit at Six Flags Fiesta Texas for Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. Yeah, so it's a B&M so dive coaster. Yeah. Um, not a large one, but mm -hmm. we're excited to do it. We're going to hit that up real quick, and then yep. we're going to head over to a new park for us yes, for the evening. Yes, yes, it's going to be SeaWorld for yeah. their festival for, uh, during the holidays. Yep, called SeaWorld's Christmas Celebration oh, at SeaWorld San Antonio. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called, thank yeah. you. 
Uh, we're super excited about that. Yep. It's a first time uh, park for us. Yep. Uh, I never grew up going to that park like many others did. I was mostly going to Six Flags USA Texas. Um, I'm super excited to have all the characters from the Bush Garden Parks like Rudolph the Rain Sleep Reindeer, Bumble, um, Clarice yeah, that have a bunch of shows with the animals. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, from what we've seen uh, awesome. from Ryan and Dine's videos. Uh, go follow them, they're awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks really beautiful, so yeah. we're super excited about that. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. We're actually going to go specifically for the holiday stuff, so we will have to make another trip sometime to do the coaster credits. Now uh, we will try to we get will, some yes. in. If I we was can. like, wait a second, we're gonna do some of the coasters. We'll if we try. Can. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. If we can fit them in, if there's no yeah. lines, we'll just hit it as we're going around. If not, yeah, that's true. it's definitely gonna be more specifically for the holiday stuff. Uh, but they only have what four coasters, I, think I believe, four, so yeah. four or five. So it's not many to get. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna. And we're also gonna try some of their food at yeah. both Six Flags, uh, Fiesta Texas, and at uh, Sea World. Yeah, so hopefully we can fit that all in in that one day because it's gonna be a quick trip this time. Yep, very quick trip. All right, so let's go on to another category. I guess we'll go ahead and do cookies while we're talking about cookies and things. We so have quite a bunch of them too here. So we will start with the Tate's Bakehouse, which are out of Southampton, New York. Um, these are their ginger snap cookies. So cakes are really, really thin, crunchy cookies, and they're just so good. If you've, never, if you've ever had them, they're amazing. All right, here yeah. we go. Ding. To me, Tate's cookies always have that base flavor to them. Yeah, their their cookies are well. It's not like it's bad. They're really no, good they're not cookies. bad. They're really good cookies. But then it hits you with whatever flavor mm -hmm. they're representing. And so they it's have, definitely a ginger snap. Very gingery. Um, and as I said before, not a big ginger fan, and I think I might have a slight allergy to ginger because it gets like the tinglys on the tongue, but yeah, it's pretty good mm -hmm. for a ginger snap cookie. Um, I love these. I would give it above average, like a six. I agree, six. All right, so let's go on to the next ones. These. I'm very excited for. Uh, are they new this year? I'm trying to remember we had them last year, but I completely forgot. But so these are the holiday exclusive Pepperidge Farms Milano's, which are the Amaretto hot chocolate flavors. Mm -hmm. so that sounds so good. That's why I'm excited because it's not peppermint or ginger. I never had Milano's growing up, and uh, now we do like the pumpkin ones. The we pumpkin just finished ones. those. We also like. Um, I also like the peppermint uh, chocolate peppermint ones. And of course, just the. the the chocolate, Basic, chocolate all year round chocolate bread. ones, yeah. They look just like a regular Milano. Bing. No. No, right? Did we have these last year? I don't think we did. No. Oh my gosh, if you like Amaretto, you're gonna love these. I think they're just as good as their pumpkin ones, and I really love those, so I'd give these a 7. Mm -hmm. 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's really neat, so you got the shortbread cookie, and all the flavoring is in that chocolate mm -hmm. layer. So it's supposed to be hot chocolate, and you can definitely taste that like hot chocolate chocolate flavor. And that amaretto is just subtle underneath there, that cherry almond flavor. Really good. So these we picked up at Sprouts, uh, but I've seen them at Whole Foods too. Mm -hmm. It's very attracted by artwork and packaging. And this caught my eye right away. It's a cute little gingerbread. I love gingerbread. Uh, it's Loker Locker. I am really butchering that name up, and it says Quadrantini. They're basically gingerbread wafers. They are imported from Austria. Oh, okay. So, um, and they've been a company since 1925. <laughs> so this is the first time I saw them. I love wafers. Wafers are yeah, really good. Yeah, I love good. the wafer cookies. Yeah, wafer cookies are just a classic <laughs> growing up for me. I used to have the strawberry ones. They're the tiny little They're squares. Bite size. They're bite-sized. They're bite-sized. They're really cute. Here's yours. All right, here we go. The cream inside the wafer is so creamy. Mm -hmm. It's so creamy. Has that gingerbread flavor. Yep. But very it's, subtle. It's very subtle. Which the way white wafer cookies are. I love that they're bite sized. They're really fun. Mm -hmm. The packaging is great. Highly recommend them. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. I give it a seven. Yeah, I seven. <laughs> <laughs> really like that one. All right, now that we did a couple things, on to the next thing that we're going to do this holiday season. Um, we're going to do something, another thing that's new. Yep. Um, Knobles has been doing the Christmas through the groves or holiday through the groves. Not sure exactly what it actually is. I think I, this is their second year. I could be wrong. Um, no, it started in 2020. So okay. yeah, it will be the second year. Mm -hmm. Um, of course through 2020, they need to have something to do in the winter. 
um, or wanted to get people out of their homes during the winter time. So they do a drive-through experience. So we are going to go up and actually experience it this year, yeah. and we are very excited. So I've actually not seen any pictures. Well, I guess a no few videos. things, yeah. but no videos. So we're excited to just check it out. Yeah, when we were at Phoenix Fall Fun Fest back in October, mm -hmm. uh, we saw signs for uh, Christmas in the Grove. Yeah. They were really cute, uh, Cosmo and all the characters. Yeah. And we're super excited to check it out. Yeah. We're also accompanying that with the buffet for the holidays. Yeah, so we really enjoyed the fall um, character breakfast that they did there at the Alamo. Mm -hmm. And as we mentioned in that video, they do a Christmas um, breakfast over at the Nickel Plate, which is at the golf course. Um, and there you get to have a very similar breakfast to what we had um, based on the menu. We I'm had hoping, never seen it. I'm hoping it's themed. Uh, the desserts were themed as you yep, to, saw, fall. to fall. So uh, we're hoping these are going to be uh, holiday themed. Yeah, and then you're supposed to be able again to meet and greet with the Knobles characters and get your photograph and get a free photo or included photo with it. So we're excited to check that out this year up at Knobles. Yep. All right, so on to more tastings. So I guess we will can, okay, and just go over here, I guess, for a second. Um, we will go with a German favorite, the Werther's Original. Yeah. Um, these are their cinnamon crumb soft chews. Yeah, it's new for this, uh, they're, they're their seasonal item. Yep, so it's holiday caramel. Soft and creamy curls outside, delicious cinnamon cream inside. Now I'm pretty sure that my parents had these uh, a couple months ago and they did give me one so I know what these taste like um, and I know both of them really enjoy these too. Oh we didn't ding, sorry. <laughs> so you want to let the caramel, caramel, <laughs> just sing. You want to let the caramel, <laughs> caramel, if you know you know, <laughs> melt in your mouth before you get to the center and once you do it is an explosion of cinnamon flavor and it is so good. Highly recommend these. Yeah, the cinnamon center is that like cinnamon red hot flavor, mm -hmm. but it's not as spicy, mm -hmm. but it is definitely in that same flavor. So good. Um, and actually speaking of red hots, give me a second. Oh yeah. We had always wanted to try these and we found them for 75 cents at Food Lion. So not part of this because it's not really um, holiday themed, but they had these Cine Fuego toasted Cinnamon Toast Crunch Squares and they had them for a few dollars and wasn't too sure and when Vanessa told me about them I was like these have to be basically cinnamon hots um, and that's exactly what it is. So if you like Red Hots, I'm not sure if you can find these anymore because again we found them for 75 cents in the clearance rack. Score. Um, Definitely give them a try if you they really like that. They are really good. They they are spicy at first, and then it um, it goes away. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll finish out the cookies. I forgot there was one more over here uh, because of this cute packaging here. Oh my goodness! It's a little house. It says Percy Pig on top, and you got Percy and other pigs again. I guess this is a UK thing, right? So yeah, really, we picked this up at Target. Yeah. And uh, interesting, and it has like this little flap it's to the a, awning that opens it's and then a the cookies are inside. Uh, yeah, I mean, per, like as like we stated, Percy Pig is from the UK mm -hmm. and uh, I first had him as a gummy form. That's what he originally comes from. This is such a cute tin. I fell in love with it. Um, I've only had their gummies. Spoiler alert, we've been having these <laughs> already and they are amazing. And inside they are individually wrapped. Yeah, really cute. So once you're done with the cookies inside, you could uh, put it as a decoration on your mantle. And again, like I said, these are cookies. So it says two jam sandwich creams, Percy Pig or flavored, biscuits. Percy Pig flavored <laughs> pink shortbreads biscuits with raspberry jam and cream. So good. So that seems to be the thing over there. Uh, raspberry flavored, like the Linzer cookies. So good. Yeah, so basically. And they're so Super cute too. Yeah, so they're basically a Linzer cookie. It has this little smiley face. So here on the front, you got a smiley face with the raspberry filling. Um, in the side, you can see the cream. And then on the back, you have a tail. Yeah, so basically these are just Linzer cookies and they are really good. It has a nice crispy cookie on the outside. You can taste the cream. You can definitely taste that raspberry jam. Really good. They're a 9-10 for me. Yeah, 
definitely a nine. All right, next up, we will stick with another international imported item. These are from Whole Foods. They are organic chocolate truffles. So yeah, let's give these chocolate truffles a try. Spoiler alert, we've had them in there <laughs> They are absolutely addicting. So yeah, it was just a little like gumdrop shaped chocolate uh, truffle. truffle with chocolate powder on top. They're so good. Nice and chocolatey and creamy. So these ones don't specifically say that they are dark chocolate. But they have Because they had another one which were chocolate hazelnut and it's a dark chocolate hazelnut. But they definitely is not milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of between. So, right, so kind of like a semi-sweet. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend these. These are definitely a 9 out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. when you're talking about chocolate. Okay, so as you can see here, we're almost finished. Oh, so so on to the next thing we have planned for the next month or so. So we are going to head up to New York, to New York City. Now we have done that before at Christmas time, multiple times. Beautiful, like it, 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 it's it should be on everyone's bucket list to check out New York City during the holidays. Yeah. It is one of the absolute most beautiful places you could visit. A, they light up the stores. Fifth Avenue is uh, they're, 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 these go go way back. Mm -hmm. They decorate their windows. Yeah. You got the Christmas tree it's at Rockefeller amazing. Center. Yeah. You got the skating rink. Yeah. So if you've ever seen any Christmas movies or the Thanksgiving parade at New York, you know what New York has. Um, so we're very excited. Actually, one of the first times, if not, I don't remember, I think it was the first time I visited New York. It was at Christmas. I um, really love it. Yep, we're gonna go check out Beetlejuice. Yeah, so while we're there, on Broadway. <laughs> we're gonna go see Beetlejuice on Broadway because apparently the that show is gonna close and go on travel, mm -hmm. but the traveling um, cast is not the original cast and wanted to see them. Super the excited. We've heard, I've heard really great reviews. Uh, my friend Kat has seen it several times. Highly recommended. So I'm we're super excited. We're excited to take uh, you to New York City. We're also gonna go see the Titanic uh, exhibition. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's uh, brand new. It's not like the one that traveled, the one we've been to one at uh, Franklin's Institute yeah. in Philadelphia. Completely brand new. Um, a whole bunch of artifacts. Uh, it takes you through the story. Um, uh, it's self-guided. I'm so excited for those that know me. I am obsessed with Titanic mm -hmm. and it's gonna, I'm probably gonna need tissues. <laughs> but um, other than that, yep, super excited for yep. those two events. We're gonna be snacking around. They're gonna be yep. Christmas themed uh, snacks. Uh, we're gonna be eating some of our favorite foods. Yep. Super excited. It's always so much fun to go to the city. <laughs> so if you have any any recommendations or anything that we could possibly see, um, just let us know in the comments below. We'll see if we can hit them up if we have the time or are in the area to see it. Um, again, it changes every year. So every yeah, year. if you know something coming up, let us know. So we are going to continue because we have plenty of chocolates. We'll go ahead and do the Ghirardelli squares. Yeah, they released a gingerbread flavor. And this was new this year, correct? I believe so. So this is milk chocolate gingerbread cookies with other natural flavors. <laughs> I don't know why you need other flavors when there's already ginger. Um, we can go ahead and just share one of these squares. Yeah, they're very, uh, my favorite Ghirardelli is the pepper. Oh, there's chocolate. little crisps in it. I didn't realize it was a crispy. Ah, as I was saying, uh, my favorite uh, Ghirardelli is my uh, is peppermint chocolate for the holidays. Of course, you gotta go with the classic caramel normally. Yeah. So Ooh. you can smell that ginger. And again, I didn't realize there were little crispies, rice crispies in it. Mm. So much better than the Kit Kat gingerbread. <laughs> so yeah, that one's really good. Mm -hmm. um, again, not the biggest fan of the ginger, so for me, I couldn't eat too many of those. That's why I also wanted to share it, but yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I would give it a six. Yeah, six. Somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so we might as well continue with the chocolates. We'll go with this little guy okay. here in the middle. So okay. this is... Don't, no, I don't care if y'all hate me. What? This is better than Reese's Pieces. These are, for me, my opinion, I do not care. These are from Lake Champlain Chocolates. And where'd you pick that up at? Uh, these are at Whole Foods. Oh, okay. These little suckers will cost you $4. They are from, they're clean, simple ingredients, so that's all you're getting. They're uh, fair trade certified, so that's extra awesome. These chocolates are from Vermont, and um, every year I look forward to these. They, it is the milk chocolate peanut butter, salted peanuts, and rice crispy treat. So as you can see, it's shaped like a little tree. High quality chocolate. Mm -hmm. and it's so good. Yeah, definitely excellent. Um, this is the first time I've had it, and it's really good. Uh, definitely an eight out of 10, eight you, or nine. Do you still like Reese's? Well, this Reese's peanut butter cups or 
Christmas trees. They're different flavors. It's different. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't say it's better. Okay. It depends on what you want. All right, so we'll just go on with the next small item down front. So we have from Trader Joe's, the English Toffee Bite. It's their uh, English Toffee. Is it as good as Disneyland's? Let's give it a try. <laughs> if you haven't had Disneyland's English toffee, uh, what are you doing with your life? It is amazing. And they're just real bite-sized pieces. They don't smell too good. Mm -mm. Not as good as Disney's. Not as, no. Have you had these? I think I had them last year and they were, they were decent. Yeah, they're I would decent. actually say these aren't that good. <laughs> I'm actually the worst thing that we've had tonight. Um, it's not bad. Okay. No, I'd okay. say about a four. Mm -hmm. Five for me. And I guess I'll go ahead and just finish out the chocolate. So this is okay, more ginger Choco bread. Love. Choco Love brand. Frosted gingerbread in milk chocolate form. Mm -hmm. Choco Love is a product from a company from Boulder, Colorado. Colorado. How did you pick this up at? Whole Foods. Okay. Choco Love is delicious. They make a lot of really good flavors. And we've had other of their chocolate, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Little chocolate bars. Yeah, we've had their hazelnut. Little squares. This is the first time I'm having their frosted gingerbread. Comes in a little like bumps. Is it milk chocolate? Yeah, milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Can't smell the ginger through the chocolate. Ooh! So there's a nut in it. Yeah. I think it's an almond. No, that's not a nut. It's a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Uh -huh. But definitely something crunchy, and it could be a cookie. I think it might be a cookie. A uh, cookie crisp. It's definitely really good. It's yep. milk chocolate. Again, more high quality chocolate. I love my high quality. Um, definitely would give this a 7 or an 8. Yeah, 7, 8. And the packaging is really cute as well, gingerbread on the front. Mm -hmm. Adorable. I guess we'll do this one right down front here before we get to the salty, savory type of snacks. Um, well, I guess we're starting with them, really. I forgot that's what this was. So these are Blue Diamond Almonds, uh, Peppermint Cocoa. Not too sure what I'm going to think. Because again, I do not like chocolate peanut. Chocolate peppermint. You can definitely smell the almonds and the cocoa, but can't really smell. I need two of these just in case. <laughs> Ooh, it's very subtle. Mm hmm. Definitely taste the Ooh, peppermint. Oh, these are good. I like them. They're mm, You don't like them? They have a weird aftertaste. Oh. That peppermint really is weird at the end. It's kind of bitter. Yeah. I'm still gonna back. eat them, but. No. Mm -hmm. He didn't like them. I do not like these. It is a weird aftertaste. It says it's naughty a... and nice edition. These must be the naughty nuts. Naughty, naughty nuts. <laughs> Definitely don't like these. No, oh, the aftertaste is bad. Let me have one more. On. It starts off good, but, yeah. but the ending is of artificially peppermint flavor. Yeah. Which I guess they have to use. Before we finish out here. We have our last um, two destinations for the year. <laughs> So before the end of the year um, actually hits, we are going to go to Winterfest at King's Dominion. It is one of our favorite theme park um, holiday events, and so we are excited to go back to King's Dominion. Now last year, I think we vlogged it, right? Yeah, it was yeah, raining. It was raining it's raining. We met the parade. We didn't, we didn't we get to see, see the parade because of the rain. So. so we're really hoping that it doesn't rain this year. Yeah. It is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend it. Uh, they have walk around characters, they have live animals, yep. they have a bunch of shows, mm -hmm. it is such a great which, event. Which last year it was really cool, they even still did the shows in the rain. Yeah, so they had their little umbrellas, the what yeah. you saw, yeah, they had a little umbrella. If you haven't seen it, again, that's going to be closer to the end of the year, so go check that video out if you want to see one from last year. Yep. Um, and actually, you want to see videos from this year. Our friend Eddie from over at Eddie Tainman, he's already gone once, and yeah. of course he's gonna be back to so go check out his videos from uh, Winter Festival King yeah. Dominion. But uh, yeah, definitely excited to go there. Now, unfortunately, we will not be able to make it to Bush Gardens Christmas or Town. Christmas We're Town because so there's no time. There's not enough time yeah. for us to do it, um, and to make the trip down there uh, to even bundle it up with King's Dominion requires two days, and we don't have the two days back to back to do We're gonna it, so. miss it, but we did enjoy our time last yep. year. So check out that video too if you wanna see what it's mm -hmm. all about. Uh, yeah, because this looks very similar. There's some new shows mm -hmm. um, and things, and again, Eddie has been there as well, and we'll be back, so check his stuff out yeah. too. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are excited to go back down to King's Dominion. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better for us. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. it's, gonna yeah, be, it's gonna be very cold. <laughs> All right, so let's finish out with the popcorns and the chips. So I guess we'll start with the popcorn up front. Uh, this is drizzled popcorn from Sweet Chaos. 
from Minnesota. Where do you pick those up at? I got the, you can find them at the Dollar General. Oh, okay. And Dollar Trees, if you have those with you. And I've seen them at, um, I've seen the bigger bags into Sprouts and Whole Foods. Uh, this is Peppermint Crunch, drizzle with sweet, white, and dark frosting. No high fructose corn syrup, artificial flavoring, made with cane sugar and sea salt, and it is gluten-free. You can smell the peppermint, so Chad's not gonna like them. So it's popcorn, it's drizzled, popcorn with, drizzled with chocolate, cake. covered in candy canes. Oh my gosh, they're so good, guys. But those are good. If you like, uh, they're not overly sweet. No. They're just like little drizzled uh, chocolate and mm. little pieces of candy cane. All right. All right. All right. These are Boom Chicka Pop by Angie's. So they uh, make a lot of different popcorns. Stop. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> uh, but this year's seasonal flavor, Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate Marshmallow Ooh. Kettle Corn. I'm so excited. These are also no high fructose corn syrup whole grain, non-GMO, and made with extra holiday cheer. All right, let's give it a try. Love the packaging. I've been super excited about these ever since I saw Marky Devil announce them. Go follow Marky Devil. He's, he's on Instagram. He's on Instagram. He is the king of snack foods. <laughs> he hails off of Brooklyn, New York. I love him. And he's, we talk sometimes. He will respond to you. He is the sweetest thing ever. Definitely. These are smaller. also drizzled, just like the previous company mm -hmm. that we had. From you definitely Florida. smell that uh, hot chocolate. Oh mm. my goodness, guys. Thumbs up. Oh my. If there's one item you Almost get perfect. this holiday season, you gotta try those. Yeah, these I definitely recommend. Of course, you can find these at I got those any at grocery Walgreens. store. Yeah, Walmart, Target. I got those at Walgreens. And it was the oh, last Walgreens? bag at Walgreens, yeah. Oh, maybe it's only at Walgreens. If it's only at Walgreens, you can definitely pick it up there. But I know this brand is sold everywhere. So mm. definitely a recommendation here. That's a good Awesome. One. And I know we're gonna end off, so that's awesome. We're gonna end off on some two great items because we've had these before. Yeah. Um. Right from San Antonio or Austin? From they're they're of uh, they're out uh, of Texas. Yet their brands are uh, grain free. So they do tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. They're grain free. Uh, it, it's uh, for the people with different allergies. So they with do different things. allergies. So you could actually enjoy mm -hmm. favorite foods. Um, as you all know, I am Mexican American, and guys, these mini buñuelos <laughs> are legit. They hit the spot. If you know what a buñuelo is, buñuelos are deep fried cinnamon sugar flour tortillas. Mm -hmm. And Chad's had original ones and they're really good. Uh, obviously these are not fried and they are grain free. But guys, the flavor is, is, is there. Uh, they smell so just the, like buñuelos. And so all of their chips are actually fried in um, avocado oil. These um, are, like I said, good for people that have different types of allergies. So good. So the family is uh, from Austin, Texas. Yeah, so these are what they are, just little round tortilla looking chips, cinnamon and sugar coated. Their customer mm. service is also superb. When I was enjoying this last year, I had tagged them on Instagram. They wrote back to me wanting to know where I was originally from, how I found out about them, and they like, we, we were talking a good while. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was the owner. They were super friendly. Highly uh, I've also had their cassava flour when I was having some GI issues, uh, flour tortillas. Then they do hit the spot for me, and um, but those are yeah. so good. My other friend messaged me when I posted about them. She's like, I've already gone through a bag. <laughs> so if you like cinnamon and sugar, uh, those are good. You could find these at Target. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen and at Whole Foods. Yeah, I've seen them at different grocery stores. So. As we finish oh, up, the snacks. There's so many more Christmas snacks. Yeah. So um, as we finish up here, I'm gonna kind of just bring all these guys back up real quick. Yep. And we're gonna talk about our final destination. Not the final oh, destination. <laughs> oh gosh, that would <laughs> that would not be good <laughs> at all. Uh, and it's actually not the final destination. It is actually. It's going to be the, the start, start of our of, of our year of, our of year. 2023. Yeah. So we are going to basically do New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Um, we are starting out 2023 in Delaware, as we did in 2021. Actually. Yeah, we loved it so much. Uh, we wanted to keep it low key. 
Uh, we're not sure it's gonna be low key because when we went, it was during the pandemic. Yeah, so it uh, the world is alive again, and yeah. people are traveling. So we don't know how exactly low key it's gonna be, but we're super excited nonetheless yeah. because we love that little town of Blues, Delaware. Yeah, um, we love the inn very much. It was super comfortable. Yeah, so to actually say what we're doing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So over New Year's Eve, we are going as Vanessa said. <laughs> To Lewis, Delaware, and we are going to be staying again at the Dogfish Inn. If you haven't checked out our video from that, again, that was from 2020 into 2021. That was our first video for the year of 2021 last year, and we really enjoyed our time down there. So we're going to do Absolutely. it again. Absolutely, we're going to go to uh, yeah. So uh, something new that started last year. Um, one of the home building companies. I don't. It, the name escapes me. I'll put it down below here. Um, they had a Christmas village last year, yeah, and they're going to continue that this year and expand upon it. And it's free, it's so yeah, it's so free. it's free to do. Yep. Um, we have a time slot, so what's nice is they do two spots every night to kind of just disperse the people out and they can keep it because the space is small. It's behind the outlet mall, um, but what's cool is that there are vendors, artisan vendors, yeah, food trucks, uh, food trucks, ice beer skating. garden, um, roller skating. Roll, oh, roller so skating. it looks like an bad. ice skating <laughs> rink, but they are roller skates. So very excited to do that. Hopefully I can take the GoPro out yeah. while we're out on the um, fake ice or on the roller skating rink and do that. I haven't roller skated in years. Yeah. You said you've never done it at all. I've never roller skated. Um, and I haven't ice skated in years either. Uh, but yeah, very excited to start the year out down there. And yeah. then um, at the local park, right, where we did our food video and uh, food part of our yeah, video. Yeah, just like a little bit around from there. Um, apparently they do a ball drop or some type of flag um, drop on, on a, a ship. ship that's there. On a vessel, yeah. Um, so we can just walk over there and start the new year um, off. In that park they have uh, little bonfires. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's plenty more you know, food vendors. Hope maybe food vendors and that. We're probably going to take some hot chocolate and enjoy the festivities. Uh, while at Lou's, we're also going to eat at local establishments. Mm -hmm. Like we did. Uh, that, and maybe I mean. pick up some donuts like last time. We're not sure. Um, maybe hit the beach. Maybe hit um, maybe be a Cape, bit Cape, uh, Cape Hanel Open. Park. Not sure. Not sure. If it's freezing, we're not going to do any of that. So we are excited <laughs> to do that. So we hope you've enjoyed learning about and seeing our reactions to all this food <laughs> yes. as well as hearing about our plans it's from our now until the end of the year yeah. and through the first of the year. Yeah, it was our first uh, food haul. We're not sure we're <laughs> going to do this again, but I had so much fun. I love, we are foodies at heart and we love trying new uh, different items that interest us during the holidays. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to share our adventures with you for the yeah. remainder of the year and for the, the end, the beginning of next year. Yeah. And before we end this video, yeah. we are going to talk about which ones we enjoyed. As you heard as we went through this, we had different, different comments, but yeah. I think overall my favorite one would have to be the Swissness. As we said, this is definitely a not miss. Yeah, definitely I agree. Do those. Yeah, and of course, I have, the Bonuelos are a yeah, favorite as well. I have three favorites. So I have the Boonchaka, that's a good one, the Amaretto. <laughs> That's the my favorite those. cookie that we had, yeah. And of course, chocolate wine. And the these chocolate, are one of my favorite those chocolate. are my favorite. Those are my top three favorites. The other ones are just as good, but those are yep. my favorite ones. Yeah, so those, those are the items that we recommend. If yeah. you are looking only to get a couple or one of these items, yeah. definitely recommend one of those four. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I hope we, you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Yeah. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any comments or, again, suggestions of Anything that we talked about, or what you thought of all this, what, what, which of these items that we had today? Have was you your, tried any of these items? Yeah, and which was your favorite, or which are you looking? If you would go find, which ones are you gonna go try to find? Yeah, just let's uh, give us some information down below in the comments. So, yeah. hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, be, be safe, safe, be kind, kind and, and adventure on. on. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet be sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below.